Hi everyone and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make this super cool ruffled layers bracelet. And this was designed by AG Looming on Instagram. I'll bring up her profile here in just a second. Um, but first I wanted to show you this design. It's super super nice and it's actually based off of a single chain. And you can make this as wide as you want with these um, like green and blue rows here. And then once you're ready to finish you can put on the um, the clear borders, but I'm going to bring up her profile here on Instagram. So it is ag.looming. I'll have her name in the description box below. She's also the uh, first place winner for my international design contest, and this was her design. It's not really showing up on my phone very well, but um, it's a really, really pretty design. So I hope you guys like it. And um, again, make sure to check her out on Instagram, give her a follow for me, and we'll go ahead and get started. So to make this bracelet, you're going to want to have a hook. I'm going to use my double-ended hook, but you really don't need one. It's probably easier to use a rainbow loom hook than it is to use a double-ended hook, but um, that part's up to you. You're also going to want a C-clip to secure your bracelet at the end, and you may want some extra ones to hold on to these bands um, as you go. So I have an extra little tray of C-clips here that I'm going to use a couple of just to hold the end until I'm finished. And then you're also gonna you're also gonna want some bands. And before we start, just go ahead and make a single chain. You're probably gonna want to make a single chain at least 40 links long, if not more, because um, I have a really small wrist and this one is 40 and it and it just barely fits. So um, depending on your wrist size, this is what mine looks like. Just make sure you make enough links, and we'll go ahead and start. So once you have your single chain, what you're gonna want to do is you're going to take your hook, and this part is a little bit confusing, so um, yeah, just make sure you pay attention. What you're going to want to do is stick your hook, so make sure that the cap band is flat like this. Stick your hook inside of this, in the side of the first link, and then what you're going to do is make sure that it goes, pull your single chain over the end of the hook, just so these two loops go in between the other loops. Then what you're going to do is take this first band and slip knot it over the second, or the second band over the first, sorry. Once you have that, you'll take your first border. By the way, this black single chain is clear in this bracelet and the first border is blue. I'm going to use some turquoise medieval. Take your first color, pull that through this first band and reattach. Then you'll go up to the next chain, stick your hook through the side of both loops, pull this over the end of the hook, just so that your single chain bands here go in between these loops here. Then you'll take the second band over the first, and then you'll pull another border band oops, through these three loops. Then you'll close that. And it's going to look a little bit messy at the beginning, but as you go farther down it will start to take shape. Then, in making sure that you're counting each section, you'll go up and into the next chain. Pull this over the end of the hook. And it's nothing super special here, we're just making sure that these two black bands on my hook actually go in between the rest of the chain. Then take the second band, pull it over the first, take a medieval turquoise through all three loops, go up to the next one, slip knot that band, take a turquoise medieval through the three loops, and you're just going to continue doing this all the way down to the end. So as you can see, I only have a few more chains left since I'm doing just a small section. Oops. So you might want to pause the video here because I'll show you what to do once you get to the end. So when you're on your last chain, the chain with the C-clip in it, you'll do the same thing that you've been doing the entire way down. Stick your hook through and slip knot that then pull a band through everything. Then what you can do is unclip the C-clip 
and you'll see on the other side it will look something like this. And then this last band is just a slip knot, so don't worry about it like unraveling. Then you can take the C clip and just tie off, or you can slip knot um, this other end here. Um, I'm just going to C clip it so I don't stretch my bands out. And once you've done all of this side, we're going to actually work on the other side. So go ahead and get your hook again. And this side, as you can tell, is a little bit different looking from the original chain that we used. So again, leaving your cap band alone and make sure that it's flat facing towards you because this can get a little bit confusing. You're going to grab this loop that was crossed over and if you look at it on this side here, the loop that you crossed over is right, oops, right in here. So it's the roundish band. I'm going to try and turn this over so you can see. It's the roundish band right there. So go ahead and pick that up. I'm going to try and pick mine up too. And if you pull on it, it'll um, shrink this center part, so that's how you know that you have the right band. And you'll continue doing this. So you'll pull. So you don't need to slip knot anything, obviously, because there is nothing to slip knot. Um, but you will just pull one blue band through, just like so. And then you'll go up to this next loop, and you're going to go in between these two black parts, and you're going to grab this rounded bit here. And again, you don't need to slip knot it. You'll just take a blue band and pull it through everything. Oops. And you'll go up to the next one. Make sure you grab this loop here. And you can kind of tell when you pull it onto the hook that it's the other side of this band. Take a blue band through everything. Go up to the next loop. and just repeat this all the way up to the end. Then once you get to the very end loop, this is going to be the other loop that's kind of hanging off in the middle of nowhere. I'm going to go ahead and pull that loop up onto your hook and just like we did on the other side, pull one last band through everything. So your finishing band is actually not going to be a black band like up here. It's going to be your clear border uh, loops, but we'll get there eventually, so just don't worry about it for now. If you want, just take another C-clip and put it on, or you can put it into this one. Um, I like to keep them separate just for now. Um, it doesn't really make that much of a difference, but it just seems neater for me, so anyway, once you've finished that section, go ahead and come back to the beginning. If you want, you can kind of pull on this, and then it, it might curve one way, but it'll get fixed soon enough, so. Now what we're going to do is add on the second border, which is the neon green in this bracelet. And you can add on as many borders as you want, just like I said before. And this is a tricky part. So the way I like to start this off is I go inside of this loop and grab one of the cap band loops. And this is so that um, when I pull this out, that I still have something at the bottom to attach to instead of just this single chain band, which can get a little bit weird. Um, so just pull one of those cap band loops out, or you can just pull one of these from the beginning if you want. Um, I'm going to pull it from the inside so that I have a cleaner finish. Once you pull that out, go ahead and take your second border, or your second uh, greenish color, I guess. Pull that through the cap band. Then you'll go up into here. And just like we did with the single chain in the very beginning, you're going to grab these two loops from the side. So you just go right in here, grab these rounded loops. Make sure that your bands are in order before you start messing with it. And then we're going to slip knot this. So take the second band over the first. And then pull the green band through everything. Go up to the next one. Go right inside of here. Make sure you grab both of those bands and then just split the chain over here so that you have one loop on either side. 
and slip knot, then pull a green band through everything, go up to the next one, slip knot, pull a green band through everything, up to this, slip knot, green band through everything, next section, and you're just going to continue the same process all the way down. So this bracelet is kind of time consuming, but it's super, super pretty when you finish it. And if you're having some trouble um, grabbing the bands on the inside, that's normal. I'm having trouble too. Um, sometimes they're a little bit difficult to work with, especially if you're using dual layered or super thick bands. And get up to here. This is second to last stitch. If you need to, you can kind of pull these loops off to the side. The, the, the next loops, I guess, you can pull off to the side. Okay. Anyway, once you're at the end, oops, got a twisted band in here. There we go. Once you're at the end and you have your C-clipped band left, you'll do the same thing that we did with the single chain, put both of those loops on and slip knot it and pull a green band through everything. And just like we did before, you can unclip that and then just attach your C-clip back on to the green part. And just like in the beginning, you're going to have a little loop here, but we will um, work with that once we are starting to finish the bracelet. So anyway, you'll go ahead and come back to the beginning. You'll turn this around and repeat on the other side. So whichever loop you pulled through, which can be kind of hard to find, it looks like it's this loop for me, so I'm going to try and move that over. I'm going to go ahead and grab the other loop, off camera, there we go, grab the other loop, pull a band through, and if you want to make it super tight, you can choose to not pull a band through this first one, just keep the cap band loop, and go up into this first chain and slip knot, and then pull a band through these two. Um, it's up to you, I'm pretty sure that's what I did in this bracelet. But because I started it differently on the other side, I'm just going to go ahead and pull a band through here to start. And then I'll continue my chains as regular. So hopefully you have the gist of this by now. This is pretty much the major step in the bracelet. So if you want to keep expanding your borders, you'll just continue to do this um, until you reach the length or the width that you want. So I'm going to try and go ahead and speed through this pretty quickly. Hopefully you remember how to do it, because we just did it on the other side. Okay, once you get to the end, just do the same thing. Pull or put your C-clip band on the hook and repeat the same process one last time. Then go ahead and take your C-clip off and reclip the green band. So now you'll have something like this. 
and if you want you can keep expanding your borders but for me I'm going to show you how to add on this clear part so go ahead and get whatever color you want for that I'm going to just use regular black again and what you're going to do is oops, take this green loop here so just go through the side and pull those two bands up then slip knot it and then you're also going to grab the blue if if you want a tighter finish you can grab the blue um, if you don't you don't have to I'm just gonna I thought I would just show you guys now in case you want to mess around with that then you'll just pull a band through these two you'll go up into this next loop which is right here grab those two bands slip knot it and then instead of pulling a band through everything and just closing it you'll pull a band through everything and lift this loop closest to the hook so now you have three uh, three black loops on your hook you'll go up into the next chain grab those two bands slip knot just like we've been doing the entire time but then take a black and this time you're going to pull it through everything on the hook lift this band closest to the hook you could keep a single chain border, but I personally think it looks a lot neater with a fishtail border. But again, that's up to you. So go ahead and continue this. You'll slip knot the next loop, grab a band, pull it through all four loops, and lift the closest band to your hook. And make sure that these bands don't come out of order, otherwise your fishtail border is going to look a little bit weird. It's not going to be exactly a fishtail, um, just because some bands like here are loose, so you don't want this one to go to the outside. If it does that, just make sure you put it back on the inside in the right order. And then continue. And if that, if that keeps happening, I just pull these two bands up and push this one band over the other um, to make that fishtail. And as you can see, it's making a little line here, just like these lines here. Oops. And it's very easy for your bands to slip off your hook, which is probably why I recommend um, an actual rainbow loom hook for this, like a metal hook or a plastic hook, but um, I'm just using this one because I don't know where any of my rainbow loom hooks are. So Once you get to the end and you slip knot this last band, instead of lifting any bands or lifting bands, just pull this through all four and just like you, you've done for the entire bracelet, unclip this and reclip it to the black. So then you'll have your green little thing, your blue thing, and then this black loop. I'm going to turn this around and I'll show you how to do the borders one last time. So you'll take your hook through these two green, which should be kind of loose down here, and slip knot that and grab this other blue and this is only for the first one um, you'll only grab that blue for the first one if you want to tighten up the bottom pull a band through those two and repeat the entire way up and sometimes it's really difficult to get your hook in there so just be patient with it. Remember to lift that band closest to the hook. And what I'm doing with this is I'm pulling this out just so I can get my hook in if that works for you. Um, just do that if it helps. And if not, then um, I hope you find your own way to do that because it can get a little bit tedious.
It also helps if you have a brain balloon hook because these the the bands will slide off this double ended hook really easily, so I don't know, you might want to consider using that instead. almost at my last loop. I know this is kind of off camera, but it's so difficult for me to see from where I'm sitting. Okay, so I've finally gotten to the end of this border here. And what you can do is just keep this part on your hook. Um, you don't really need to see clip it again because now we're just going to close it off. As you go through, pick up this green loop, this blue loop, this blue loop, and this other green loop. And before you put on the other black band, just take one more black band pull it through these four middle loops, like so, and then you can reattach these outer two loops. Then you can unclip that. Now you'll have six loops on the hook. Take one band through everything and close. And that is what your bracelet will look like at the end. So sorry for a really long video, um, I just wanted to make sure that you guys would understand the steps. Um, but for now, that is going to do it for this video, so thank you for watching. If you liked it, make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe. I will have AG Looming's name in the description box below. Make sure to check her out on Instagram, give her a follow for me. And that's going to do it, so I hope to see you next time.